Proxmox Backup Server makes it easy for you to backup your virtual machines, to avoid data loss due to hardware or software failure. After you have created the installation media and booted to it, you can start installation by pressing Enter on Install Proxmox Backup Server. After a bit, you will get the license agreement. You can read it if you wish. Press I agree when you're ready. Then, select which hard drive you wish to install Proxmox Backup Server on, and click Next. Here, you can configure where you're from, by typing in the name of your country. The rest should populate automatically. Click Next when done. Type in the password for your server. And then Email, and click Next. Finally, Network Settings. Type in the name you wish for your server, followed by .local. Then, an IP address. Both Gateway and DNS server can point to your router. Finally, clicking Next will take you to the summary screen. Click Install if you're happy with your configuration. When the installation is done, you should see an address just like with Proxmox. Type that into the search bar of a web browser. As with Proxmox, the username is root, and the password is what you created during installation. When logged in, press OK on the message about no valid subscription. To add a hard drive for backups, head over to storage slash disks. Click the disk you wish to use, then click initialize disk with GPT. Then click directory, followed by create directory. In the pop-up window, select the disk you wish to use, then the file system. This can be ext4. Then give it a name. Then, when you're happy with your configuration, click Create. When you're done, you can head over to Dashboard and click Show Fingerprint. Click the Copy button and head over to your Proxmox server. Here you can navigate to Data Center, followed by Storage, then click Add. In the drop down menu, click Proxmox Backup Server. There's a few parameters to fill out there. Start with ID. This is the name of your Proxmox Backup Server. Next is Server. Type in the IP address of your Proxmox Backup Server. Then Username. Type in root at pam. And the password is the one for Proxmox Backup Server. You can add your Proxmox Server to nodes if you wish. This is not necessary. Then Data Store. Type in the disk you wish to use. And then finally, paste in the fingerprint and click Add. You can now set up backup routines. Navigate to Data Center, then Backup, and click Add. In the pop-up window, select the storage you wish to use, and the schedule that fits you. Then check the virtual machines you wish to take a backup of. And if you don't wish your storage to run full, you can click Retention, and select how many backups you wish to keep. Then click Create. To make sure the backup works, you can select the routine and click Run Now. This can take a while, depending on the size of your virtual machines and your hardware. When you need to restore a virtual machine, Navigate to the storage it's backed up to, then Backups, then select the backup you wish to restore, and click Restore. Here you will get the option to change out a few parameters if you wish. Click Restore if you're happy with the setup. When the virtual machine has been restored, it's ready to be used and you can start it up. Hope this was of some use. Thanks for watching, goodbye.